Kicking off our countdown at number 10 is the town that's too arty for its own good, Arty Arta. Nestled in the northeast of Mallorca, this town is a bustling hub of vibrant creativity. From colorful murals to edgy sculptures, the art scene here is as diverse as it is impressive. But it's not just about the art. Arti Arta is also home to charming medieval streets that wind and weave like a Picasso painting. At the heart of the town, you'll find the hilltop sanctuary of San Salvador, offering panoramic views that will steal your breath away. Now, word of advice, bring breadcrumbs. With streets as labyrinthine as these, it's easy to get lost. But hey, what's travel without a little adventure, right? So if you're into getting lost in narrow streets or just a fan of the medieval era, Arti Arta is the place for you. At number nine, we have the S Tronc. It's more than just a beach, it's a lifestyle. Picture this, endless stretches of pristine white sand under your toes as you stroll along, the gentle lapping of the Mediterranean Sea's turquoise waters at your feet. It's a symphony of nature playing just for you. But wait, did you forget your sunscreen? Because the sun here is as unapologetic as a pop star running late for a concert. It's always shining, always beaming down, as if it too can't get enough of this beach paradise. And who can blame it? As Trank is a slice of heaven on earth, untouched by the hustle and bustle of city life. Here, it's just you, the sun, the sand, and the sea. It's a place where you can kick back, relax, and let the hours drift by like the gentle waves on the shore. So if you're a sun worshiper or just a lover of beautiful beaches, Es Tronc is a must visit. Coming in at number eight, we have the Santa Catalina neighborhood, the place where diets go to die. Allow me to paint a picture for you a vibrant, bustling district filled to the brim with the irresistible aromas of freshly baked pastries, tantalizing tapas, and sizzling seafood. The lively food markets here are a feast for the senses, where vendors sell everything from sun-ripened tomatoes to locally caught octopus. There's a joke among locals that the only thing harder than finding a parking spot in Santa Catalina is sticking to a diet. The neighborhood's restaurants are equally diverse, offering a culinary tour that spans the globe. You can tuck into a plate of sushi for lunch, indulge in Italian for dinner, and finish the night with a round of Spanish churros. So, if you're a foodie or just someone who loves a good meal, Santa Catalina is a must. At number seven, we have Ombu, a tree so famous it got its own spot on the list. This is no ordinary tree, my friends. The Ombu is a symbol of resilience and survival, standing tall on the beautiful soils of Mallorca. With roots that stretch out like veins, it drinks in the vibrant energy of the sun and the soil. Let's talk history for a moment. This impressive tree has been around for longer than some civilizations. Its age is a well-kept secret, but rumor has it it's been counting its rings for hundreds of years. Just imagine the stories it could tell if it could talk. It's like the grandparent of the island, an ancient silent witness to the passage of time. With its wide, welcoming branches, the ombu is a sight to behold. It's an embodiment of life, strength, and endurance. So if you're into nature or just love to hug trees, Ombu is waiting for you. All aboard for number six, the vintage train ride from Palma to Solar, a journey back in time. The chug of the engine, the creak of the carriages, and the toot of the whistle, it's all part of a time capsule that takes you away from the hustle and bustle of modern life. As the train pulls out of the station, you're not just embarking on a journey, you're stepping into history. This isn't just a train ride, it's a trip through the heart of Mallorca, showcasing the island's stunning vistas and old-world charm. From the verdant valleys to the craggy mountains, every view is a postcard. And let's not forget the train itself. With its wooden panels and iron details, it's like a museum on wheels. But beware, there's no Wi-Fi on this old beauty. Imagine that a whole hour without scrolling through your phone. So, if you're a train enthusiast or just love a good view, this vintage train ride is for you. At number five, we have Cap de Formentor, where the land ends and the sea begins. This is the spot where the jagged cliffs of Mallorca meet the endless blue of the Mediterranean. You can almost hear the whispers of ancient mariners as the wind rustles through the pine trees. And standing tall amidst the wild beauty is the Formentor Lighthouse, a beacon of hope for seafarers for over a century. It's as if time stands still here, with the lighthouse's stoic presence and the eternal dance of the sea and the cliffs. And let me tell you, the view from here, it's something to behold. It's the kind of panorama that makes you wish you had a second camera, just in case the first one faints from the sheer beauty of it all. So if you're into breathtaking views or just love to feel the wind in your hair, Cap de Formentor is a must visit. Coming in at number four, we have Binisalem, 
the town that's too drunk on its own wine. This charming little town is the heartland of Mallorca's wine country, boasting vineyards as far as the eye can see. Here the grape is king, and the wine flows like water. It's a place where wine isn't just a beverage, it's a way of life. Every September the town throws a party like no other. The annual wine festival, Festa de Vermar, is a celebration of the grape harvest where the townsfolk stomp grapes, parade through the streets, and yes, drink lots and lots of wine. But remember, while the festival is a blast, don't even think about drinking and driving. We wouldn't want you to confuse a vineyard for a parking lot, would we? So, if you're a wine connoisseur or just love a good glass of red, Bin Asylum is a must. Before we unveil our top three, don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment about your favorite site on the island. Your engagement helps us bring you more captivating content. Now let's get back to our countdown. At number three, we have Ben's Deval, the restaurant that's hanging on for dear life. Now, this isn't your typical dining spot. Ben's Deval is a cliffside marvel, perched precariously on the rocky edges of Mallorca. It's like dining on the edge of the world, with the vast Mediterranean Sea stretching out beneath you. The view? Absolutely breathtaking. You get a panoramic vista of the sea meeting the sky in a beautiful dance of blues. And at sunset? Well, let's just say it's a scene that'd give the Sistine Chapel a run for its money. But it's not just about the views. Ben's Deval serves up some of the most mouth-watering dishes this side of the Mediterranean. Each plate is a culinary masterpiece, a symphony of flavors that'll have your taste buds dancing the flamenco. Just a word of advice though, try not to look down while you're eating. It's a long way to the bottom. So, if you're a foodie with a taste for adventure, Ben Deval is a must-visit. Coming in at number two, we have the Ruta de Pedra and Sec, the trail that makes your Fitbit go into overdrive. This is not just a hiking trail, folks, it's a marathon of nature's finest spectacles. Spanning over 150 kilometers, the route leads you through the heart of the Serra de Tramuntana Mountains. And the views? Simply breathtaking. Picture craggy limestone peaks, lush olive groves, and azure sea vistas that make you feel like you're walking in a postcard. As for wildlife, you'll be sharing the path with curious mountain goats and chirping birds. And don't be surprised if you find yourself shopping for a new pair of hiking boots after this. After all, with all the exploring to be done, your old pair might just decide to retire early. So, if you're an avid hiker or just love to walk in nature, the Ruta de Pedra and Sec is a must. And finally, at number one, we have Dea, the town that's too pretty for its own good. Nestled between the azure Mediterranean Sea and the lush green Serra de Tramontana mountain range, this charming village is the epitome of natural beauty. But it's not just the landscape that's breathtaking. Dea has a rich artistic heritage too, having been a muse for countless artists, writers, and musicians over the years. Some say there's something in the air, others say it's the light. But one thing's for sure, once you've been, it's hard not to entertain thoughts of packing up your life and moving there. And who could blame you? With its cobblestone streets, rustic stone houses, and stunning views, Dea is truly a slice of paradise. So if you're into stunning views or just love a good sunset, Dea is a must visit. And there you have it, folks. We've journeyed through the hidden gem of Artiarta, basked in the beach paradise of Estrank, savored the flavors of Santa Catalina neighborhood, marveled at Ombu, time traveled from Palma to Solar, stood at the edge of the world at Cap de Formentor, savored the wines of Bini Salem, admired the cliffside wonder of Benz de Val, trekked the hiker's dream of Ruta de Pedra on Sec, and crowned it all at Dea. Remember, the world is a book, and those who do not travel read only one page, so get out there and start exploring.